Hi everyone, the video today is going to be about a Mac Mini and more specifically on how to upgrade or how to change from a normal drive to a solid state drive. Um, in this video we're going to show you how we clone the drives um, and also um, how hard it is to change the drive and uh, what's actually involved in doing such uh, such upgrade to your, to your uh, Mac. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how long it takes to boot before and at the end I'm going to show you how long it's going to take um, after. Whether it's an iMac, Mac Mini, MacBook that has a normal hard drive inside, or even if the customer has an SSD but they want a, a higher capacity SSD, um, we always use a program that I think it's easier for everybody. So in this case, this Mac has a uh, 500 gig normal hard drive. We're going to put a one terabyte SSD. Okay. So I know you can put the, the SSD and format the, the drive, install the system and then restore from a, from Time Machine, but it's actually easier for everybody because then you don't have to sign into all the uh, the apps that you're using to your Apple ID, to any, any of that. So this program is actually very handy and we've been using it for, uh, for a lot of Macs in the past. So what you want to do is you want to open up Google and just type in carbon copy Mac there you go and it should be this one I accept obviously and then it just download the 30 day trial And then you install it, obviously. As you can see, even normal applications on this Mac they're a pain to, to be used with the normal hard drive and I can hear it constantly trying to read and load and all that so given that this machine has an i5 sorry an i7 it'll make a huge difference okay so here we have the interface of the program now obviously if you're going to go down this route you need a caddy or a hard drive reader of some sorts Okay, in which we plug in the SSD that we got and then we hook it up to the Mac. <clears throat> so 
So we select the source. Oh, actually, it's a one terabyte drive. Fair enough. Still doesn't matter because we're going from one terabyte to one terabyte. Now we have to wait. Okay, so we've selected the source, initialize, that's the SSD being uh, read. Let's see if we can do it without initializing, select destination, no we can't, so okay. So we have to format the, um, the new drive as well, I'm going to name it Macintosh. SSD, erase, okay so that's done, now we're going to select the source, the, sorry the destination which will be the SSD, the external SSD obviously, and then we clone, install, Okay, and then we just simply hit clone, and now we wait. Uh, this process varies based on the speed of your SSD, based on the, um, not on the SSD, on the, on the speed of the internal drive, on the speed of your reader, on the speed of the port that you're using the destination drive on. So this is going to take some time. Um, I'm actually going to pause the video and I'm going to show you at the end exactly how long it took. So the process of cloning finished. Um, as you can see, it took about an hour and 55 minutes to clone the main partition and then it took an, uh, a minute and 21 seconds to clone the recovery partition. So basically after this you just turn off your Mac and you start replacing the um, or if you want to make sure like you can boot from the external drive but given that I've used this program so many times in the past I'm just simply going to replace the internal drive so now that we have the drive cloned we're going to proceed with replacing the existing hard drive to the solid state drive and also the customer requested a uh, RAM upgrade, so we're going to replace the RAM as well and increase it. So first you remove these two screws from the Wi-Fi antenna and then these two screws here are the ones that actually hold down the uh, hard drive. So now we're going to continue with removing the fan. Okay, so be careful of that connector there, you don't want to break it. Okay, now we have another screw here to remove this piece of plastic. It's like a shield of some sorts. Okay, 
Okay, and that's where we have the um, connector for the hard drive. And then you take the hard drive out. And other, after this, everything is pretty straightforward. You have one, two screws, and you have the connector to the um, to the hard drive as well. So I'm going to remove this tape actually. Let's see if I can remove all this tape in one piece. Yeah, it broke there, but it's fine. So now we have the new drive, the SSD, and we're going to take the screws out from the old hard drive, and we're gonna put them back onto the SSD. The purpose for these screws is to hold the drive straight inside of the Mac. You have two holes there that keep this uh, this drive in place, basically. like so so from now on you just basically put everything back the way you take it out like so Now I'll grab the RAM modules. Okay, and now we put the cover back on. And this is about it. This is how easy and also tricky it is to replace the drive on your Mac Mini 2012. 
So for the final test, this is basically how the machine operates after the SSD upgrade and a slight increase in, in RAM size. And that's it. So this has been the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you like this video, dislike if you didn't like it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, we're going to have more videos like this um, in the upcoming future. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.